Hello guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to show you uh, how you can um, configure a Sassel plain text uh, protocol for Kafka. Uh, we are going to run Kafka on Docker. Uh, if you want to simply run Kafka on Docker, you can check out my previous video uh, which uses a plain text uh, protocol. So this one is going to focus on how to uh, configure a Sassel plain text uh, protocol for Kafka communication. Okay, so we have uh, this YAML file which runs uh, two services, Zookeeper and Kafka. I'm using the Confluent image for both. Uh, so the Zookeeper configuration remains the same as the one uh, we did in that video, which uses the plain text protocol. Uh, but on the Kafka, we have added uh, a few more settings uh, for, particularly for the Sasa uh, plain text protocol okay so the first one we added is the zookeeper uh, sassel enabled i have set that to false because i don't want uh, sassel communication between kafka and zookeeper rather between kafka and uh, other clients so i have set this to false but if you want to have sassel communication enabled between kafka and zookeeper you can turn that on uh, but in this case you have to pass in uh, just configuration file for zookeeper as well okay the uh, so in the listeners I have two listeners here one which listens in the plain text protocol uh, at port 1992 and i have uh, another port which listens to uh, connections using the sasa plain text uh, protocol okay so in the protocol map we have mapped plain text to plain text and sasa plain text to sasa plain text and uh, we chose the Sassel plain text uh, communication uh, protocol uh, for the communication among the different uh, brokers. Okay, uh, the other two settings here are related to the Sassel uh, plain text type, the Sassel uh, mechanism type. Uh, we are using plain. There are different uh, Sassel mechanisms like uh, JSS. API, uh, Scrum, and such. Okay, but uh, for this we are using plain. Uh, the last one is since a Sassel plain text requires uh, authentication, username and password, we need to uh, tell Kafka uh, what the username and password is supposed to be. Okay, and we are uh, doing that in this case by providing a just configuration file. This is how the just configuration file looks. So make sure to use Kafka server as the key, then uh, the username and password. So once you have username and password, uh, you should also add this statement, which uh, what it does is after user underscore, uh, please make sure to have the username here. Okay, username Kafka. So Kafka, if users, your username is admin, user underscore admin, then pass in the password and don't forget to add the semicolon here as well otherwise it won't work uh, the other thing you need to be caref be careful here is make sure the security module you are uh, using here which is in this case plain matches the sassel mechanism and type you chose okay plain uh, the last one is since i want uh, kafka to access this file from within the container uh, i have linked uh, this folder the configs folder here to uh, this uh, pads inside the container. Okay, so let's check this. Okay, the zookeeper is running and Kafka is running also. So we can check the connection from a Kafka to. Uh, I'm using Office Offset Explorer, uh, so I have created two connections: one which uses the plain text protocol, and the other one, Sassel plain. So for the plain text, I have this configuration. This is just the name of the connection here, and you can check if the zookeeper is working. It is. Make sure to have the right port here. Then for the security, I'm using plain text here, and. Under advanced, you should put the right address uh, for the Kafka and 
in this case I'm using 1992 which is the one that's listening connections uh, using the Plaintex protocol okay so let's check this yeah it's able to connect let's check the other one here uh, the name of, this is the, just the name of the connection which is using the same uh, zookeeper um, settings and under security and stage of plain text I have chosen SASL plain text okay which requires uh, us to pass in uh, just configuration file which specifies the username and password this client should use to connect to uh, Kafka and that's done under just config so just uh, putting this here this is the same as the one we have in the just configuration file okay which is this one just copy that here uh, you have a format specified here so you can follow that and the other thing you need to do is under advanced tab uh, you need to put the right uh, port and address uh, for this uh, communication protocol and make sure to override the default uh, SASL mechanism here which is uh, this one by default and change that up to play let's connect and test yeah it's connected so this is how you configure uh, SASL uh, plain text uh, protocol in Kafka okay uh, if one more thing I want to show you is how you can uh, create topics Mm, uh, produce message and consume message uh, using the SASL plain text mm, protocol and the only uh, difference here is you have to attach the username and the password whenever you create uh, topics okay so you do that uh, using different options for the different commands for example if we use this let's bash into the container So we are, here we are connecting to uh, the 1993, uh, which is the one that's listening in SASL uh, plain text protocol, and we have added this uh, option command config, which passes in the username and the password. Okay, so this is mounted to the folder I have here. You can see the content. This is what it looks like. Uh, make sure you have similar to the one we passed in the two so username and password and the protocol and the social mechanism okay so the test is created we can check that here as well under topics let's refresh tests yeah here it is okay uh, you can do the same for producing messages just use a different option there instead of command config now we have producer config okay hello this is something okay let's exit check the data here yeah we have four messages okay uh, do the same for the consumer in the in the case of the consumer instead of using producer config you will use the option consumer config okay so that's it uh, thank you for watching if you like the tutorial please like the video and subscribe